<laughs> Sometimes we had had to force ourselves to be more creative because of the uh, yeah. guidelines. For instance, one time we could not say, um, uh, and this will be for this young man here. <laughs> what, what's, your, what's your name, sweetheart, this young boy in the? Oh. Hi, Alon, this is for you. Um, <laughs> we uh, wanted to talk about someone having a dirty Sanchez. <laughs> so. and, you, uh, uh, you, might you might want to Google that. Yeah, on the, <laughs> yeah. And the censor said we couldn't, it's going to be a long car ride home on the day. Yeah. <laughs> the censors um, said we couldn't say dirty Sanchez. Uh, and so we came up with a new term, which was Muddy Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes, which, sometimes it forces us to be uh, even that much more interesting. Find gold. Which, yeah. is, which is worse. Which Alex, is worse. <laughs> Alex, is a, Alex is a date you could take to the White House. <laughs> yeah, a date you could take yeah. to the White House. And when you find out what it is, make sure you're that kid that tells all the other kids. <laughs> That's why we're here. You'll, you'll be cool. Yeah. I'm not for a, sure I really <laughs> know what a dirty is. Uh, yeah, how about somebody back there? We haven't hit that area. Yes, that person already has the mic. Yeah. How are we all doing tonight, guys? Um, question. <laughs> <laughs> Big pussy, what do you got? <laughs> Start, uh, when the show first started off and you guys were casting and stuff and I creating the characters and stuff, the character Chris, like, how did you come up, like, Seth Green walks in the door and you're like, you know, he'd be Chris. fantastic to play that part. Yeah. Second, what? he went to... What? <laughs> Seth Green playing the you part of Chris. understand a word, not a bloody word. <laughs> I want you to say, with blackest moss, the flower pots were thickly crushed the wall. I can't say that. What, what, what is your question? <laughs> he he uh, wants to know where Chris got the, uh, where Seth's got the voice for Chris Griffin and the thing that's a drag. I, let's, let's, right yeah. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm gonna, gonna, go? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna. He went, he went he to gone? go pee. He went to the bathroom. All right. Well, he might still be wearing his mic. Let hold that. Let's we'll, just we'll make him sure. tell yeah, we'll that. Because that is a funny story. That is a good story. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think it'd be funny if we wrap this up. And that guy goes on Okay, a couple more. Uh, how about way in the back? But yeah, that's, that's right, Chrome Dome. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at you now, okay. Um, I have a technical question. I hope it's not too boring. I'm just wondering when Family Guy is gonna go to uh, 169. I've noticed that yeah. American Dad already did, Cleveland Show is. At the beginning of next season, it's, we, we have, we have we're gonna finish out, it's basically from this to this, you know, it's like the, the letterbox thing. Full HD. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you people take television very seriously. <laughs> How about this nice lady in the uh, middle? With Dirty the, Sanchez. Yes, uh, with the red hair. Go ahead. Oh, I don't need that. I almost had a Fergie situation, so. <laughs> Just had to hit the bathroom real quick, sorry. They were, they, so this, this guy was asking where the voice of Chris comes from. I, I, I will set you up for this by saying that the Chris character was designed in such a way that if you didn't know what he sounded like, this makes sense. Most of the people coming in were doing the voice of like a surfer dude. I think and I even pitched that. Like the first voice I tried was like, what's up, fight the machine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, but I had been dared by uh, Charlie Corsmo, uh, star of Dick Tracy and Men Don't Leave. Uh, <laughs> um, Charlie and I did a movie together and we were doing press for it and while we were, we just started spitballing like, oh, you remember how awesome Buffalo Bill was in Silence of the Lambs? And it was like, oh, well, she's a great big fat person. <laughs> You, you help me, I'm just, I'm so fucked up. Bro. <laughs> I'm wondering you about a size seven. And we just thought that was so funny. We started putting that guy uh, in different jobs. Like, what other jobs did that guy have? <laughs> <laughs> it just made us laugh. Like, what if Buffalo Bill was your, like, the mic at Jack in the Box? Like, oh, so you just want a Pepsi with that? Do <laughs> <laughs> you want the... Do you want some ranch dressing with those chicken fingers? 
<laughs> and it, just, it just made us laugh. So I, I was like, now listen, this may be unorthodox, but I was thinking I'll try this. Should I fight the machine? You know? <laughs> and all of a sudden, they were like, oh, that's funny. Maybe make it younger and a little more weird. And I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. And I was stunned when I got the part, <laughs> uh, really shocked to have that job, and just so excited by it. So, so the voice of Chris is based on the sex-offending murderer. <laughs> <laughs>